Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been about four months since we started running our car wash and it's been quite a journey. One thing we've learned is that aside from a dedicated workforce, the two biggest necessities for a car wash business are a reliable source of water and a steady supply of electricity. In our case, we rely on boreholes for water and solar power for electricity. And that's exactly what today's video is about. We are going to take a deep dive into the solar system power in our car wash. And through this video, we will cover the type of inverter we are using and its functionalities, how the inverter is configured, the solar batteries and its features as well as performances, and then the solar panels, how they are set up and how much power they generate and how long the system lasts during operations. So let's, let's go ahead and then get into it. First, let's talk about the inverter. This, I must say, is actually the heart of the entire solar setup, which is converting DC power from the panels into AC power for the equipment that we use. The inverter we use is the SRNE 12 kilowatt single phase off-grid hybrid inverter. Yes, this is actually a lot. So let me take it again. So this is SRNE. Um, and it's a 12 kilowatts as well as it's a single phase and it is an off-grid inverter that is hybrid inverter and it has inbuilt two MPPT charge controllers as well as an LCD touch screen. It includes a generator port and has IP65 waterproof protection, meaning it can be safely installed outdoors with rain, sunshine and the rest and it still is going to work um, very well. The inverter is configured with the battery as well as the solar panels, which is PV1 and PV2. So PV is just simply photovoltaic. So because of the two MPPT charge controllers, we have um, all being used. And then it also has a communication port for monitoring um, via Wi-Fi. And then each MPPT charge controller of the inverter can accept up to 6.6 .6 kilowatt of solar energy. So given a total of 13.2 kilowatts when maxed out. So if you combine the two MPPT charge controllers, each is given 6.6 .6 kilowatts. So when you put the two together, then you have a total of 13.2 kilowatts of um, yeah, energy. The inverter, as part of its functionality, is able to power up to six um, horsepower of motor powered devices, making it ideal for our pressure washers. As an off-grid um, inverter, it can run on solar power alone during the day. So in case we're not having batteries um, as part of the system, during the day, the solar panels are able to generate energy. And because of the type of inverter we have, we'll be able to use the energy directly from the solar panels without a battery to store them during the daytime. Yes, so that is how it works. And for the measurement, it measures that 670 millimeters, that is the height by 440 millimeters that is the width and then by 220 millimeters that is the breadth and it weighs about 37 kilograms so it's not small weight uh, for such an inverter now the cost as at the time we purchased which was sometime last year around september there about it was selling for about 28,000 for one yes as i then i'm sure by now it probably would have increased especially due to the dollar rate so this is just a brief information or details about the solar inverter that we are using for the car wash. Next, we have our batteries. These stores excess power generated by the solar panels and keeps the car wash running even when there is limited daylight. So sometimes people ask, so what if there's no daylight? Um, there's no sunlight. Yes, a lot of times people attribute um, daylight just to sunlight. But the good thing about solar system is that it relies on daylight just that the sun produces a lot more daylight and it's able to utilize or make good use of such daylight so in times where we don't have so much sunshine we still have a functional system because then we have daylight that is still charging the system although it may not be charging you know at a very fast uh, pace so let's continue so we use a total of 32 kilowatt lithium batteries which is also from srne now srne is actually one of the popular um, brands in China in terms of producing of um, solar system or solar um, energy um, equipment. It's been around for like 15 years so you can tell they have quite um, you know experience in terms of um, producing solar related um, materials. 
Each battery contains 16 high quality cells and can store up to 16.07 kilowatt of energy. The batteries features Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and an LCD touch screen that provides real time battery information. So on the LCD, you can actually um, swipe and then you get different information. I think it has about four to five different um, information that it provides on the battery. Also with a battery, it has IP65 waterproofing rating. And as well as, as part of that, it has some secondary breakers for added protection. And these are built for reliability. So in case you have your main breakers failing, then these secondary breakers are actually going to be able to take over to protect um, the batteries. Yes, so that is how it's built. Each battery has a lifespan of 8,000 cycles and these um, cycles can last up to about 20 years. So if you convert each cycle just to let's say about a day now the cycle basically means the level of charge and discharge it can take if you convert eight thousand to days that is going to give you about 21 years so yeah so if it's giving about 20 years of you know um lifespan i think that is actually not bad now with this particular type of battery you can parallel up to 16 units so if you want to do or operate a very big um i don't know business whatever it is warehouse whatever it is you can actually have this you know batteries about 16 units connected together to power it up and each battery is um, the size is 1075 millimeters that is the height by 460 millimeters that is the width and then by 271 millimeters that is the breadth and i must say it weighs about 223 kilograms so if you combine 50 kilograms of um, cement so you have two of that as well as half so 2.5 half of um, and uh, two and a half bags of 50 kg cement that is actually very heavy the good thing about it is that it has got some wheels so it's easier to move it around in terms of if you want to push it and the rest yes that's one good thing about um, it the two batteries that we have are actually connected in parallel to our 250 amps dc breaker before linking to the inverter and i must say both are actually grounded so they are all connected to the head system and then also as part of connecting them in parallel there's a need to um, classify which of them is master as well as which of them is slave so there are switches or switching mechanism that you can use in doing that so then it helps in knowing which one to charge and charge first as well as discharge first among others so Yes, and then after the time we bought this battery, also same time around um, sometime September, that was 2024. It was around 52,000 CDs for one. Yeah, so maybe it might have increased as of now. As I was saying, for handling, the batteries are equipped with wheels, so you can easily, you know, push or move them around. Yes, so in case you you don't have to carry, yes, you just have to move them around. Unless, of course, where you have to position would require some lifting. Also, there's a way you have to go about moving it, and it's actually on top of it, as you can see. So you don't have to tilt it to the side, else it might fall, and they probably would just damage the battery. So these are some information about the solar batteries that we have, that is lithium batteries that we have. Now let's move on to the solar panels. That is the source of all our energy. We have a total of 20 monocrystalline um, solar panels from Jinko. So Jinko is the brand with each producing that is um, 550 watts of energy. And these are installed on the roof of the car wash. Altogether, they generate about 11 kilowatts during peak period, close to um, what the inverter can take. So the inverter is able to take up to about 13.2 kilowatts. That is maximum capacity. So generating about 11 kilowatts is actually not bad. Yes. Now the panels are mounted on the roof, as I mentioned, and it's at about an angle between 35 to about 40 degrees. Yes. Out of the 20 panels, 10 are connected in series each, that is on each PV input for balanced energy distribution. It's actually good to, um, you know, connect your PV, especially if your um, charge controllers or the inverter has two or more charge controllers, it's good to do like a balance input. So you need to have like, if it's 500 watt for uh, PV input A, it has to be 500 watt for PV input B. Although you can um, change or maybe have one a little bit more than the other, it's actually best to have them together so that, you know, you get sort of like a balanced um, um, distribution of energy through the system. Now, each panel measures 2,279 millimeters, that is the height, by 1,134 millimeters, that is the width, and then also by 
35 millimeters that is the breadth yes so that is how um or that is the dimensions of the solar panels now let's walk through the appliances we power with this system starting off with the pressure washers that is actually our main devices that we use as a car wash we use two um, washers daily for between that is four to five hours each and then aside that we also have a surface water pump which is a 0 0.5 horsepower pump which is always running um, always running in terms of it's always on but runs whenever a tap is open so with the help of the booster that is attached to it so it's about 360 watts um, consumes about 360 watts of power and for every day it runs for like about four hours yeah and we have a tv which is 32 watts runs um for two to four hours a day yes and aside that we also have a display fridge which consumes about 120 watts and it runs for 24 hours throughout so it runs every single day it's on so that's what we use in chilling our drinks as well as water that we sell at the car wash then we have flood lights which are 550 um, that is 50 watts each and we have a total of four pieces of that and for that we use them between two to three hours especially at night so around six o'clock we have them turned on and then maybe through to eight o'clock we will have them turned off because we don't really need those lights since we have um, lights coming from the solar street light then we have um, borehole pumps one is 1.5 horsepower which is up to about 1100 watts and then one is one horsepower which is also like 750 watts and we run them not together run them one at a time so maybe one day we can choose to run the um, 1.5 horsepower the next day we can run the one horsepower so that's how we go uh, about them and then we run them for like about an hour running them for about an hour is able to fill our tank depending on the level of water that is you know has been used and has to be filled um, back i must say overall the solar system has been a game changer keeping our operations smooth and efficient so at this point let's take a look at um what the system looks like in terms of the dashboard where i'm able to get much information about the system so this is what the system looks like we have the solar panels coming into the inverter and then we have the battery also coming into the inverter and then the inverter providing power to the load through the battery as well as the panel so as it stays now the panel is producing about four watts because of the time of the day it's around 5 41 so that's like almost six o'clock so there's currently no daylight but as you can see the battery is about 97 percent fully charged and this can serve us all the way through the night till the next morning so till the next morning you are likely to have about 40 watts i'm um, sorry 40 percent of the battery probably sometimes more sometimes a little bit less uh, depending on how we usually use power also in the night because in the night we have our fridge on sometimes we have to pump water um, from the borehole at night that's once we close work yeah so as it stays now we are currently having a total load of 441 watts and that comprises of the appliances that are currently on so if you click on this you get the details of what is currently ongoing or being powered um, through the system and when you look at the extreme right you look at the total energy charge for the day so this is 22 kilowatts so if we have um, a total of 11 kilowatts so we've done like twice or two times it for the day so that's how it's been able to charge the system and then looking at the battery discharge because of the time of the day we've started having some discharge happening because it's almost six o'clock and we are not having a daylight as at this time of making a video and then total active power so that is um that is one point um, 0 0.14 kilowatts or yes yeah, so a total of 144 41 watts that is what is being powered and a pv generation on the day so we the pv was able to generate a total of 29.5 kilowatt so there the, you notice that there's a difference from this and this one good thing about the solar system is that with um excess power generated some of the power directly goes to the load which is being powered on so out of um, 29 kilowatt we can say about 7 kilowatts was used to power um, some of the appliances during the daytime and then 22 um, kilowatts was used to charge the batteries so that is not bad and then you have pv 
uh, cumulative power generation yes so um that is just an overview of what the system looks like uh, yeah because we are not connected to the grid at Talcom, we don't have any grid power over here so this system is actually giving details for both our uh, home as well as um the car wash and we can get some more information about the devices that are being used so as i've shared with you um some of the information in terms of the devices you get to find more details about them as well here and then if you want to get an overview of in terms of the number of power that has been generated discharge among others you're able to also do so using the um, the graph or the chart over here so we can look at um, charge and power we can look at battery energy we can look at um, total energy and all these things so you get a, a good idea of how the system is performing yes this will give you information as to how the system has been performing over a certain period of time so you can go back and then see how it's been performing so all these information has you know details to it so if i hover over it you notice that i'm getting some information so this is how sometimes i'm able to monitor the entire system so i'm also able to use an app that um smart ess um, app on my phone which equally gives me the same information that is being given over here and then you can see more details on specific days so in case there's any fault then you have an alarm so usually this occurs when we have like low battery and this i think it's happened like twice only where we had um, batteries run um low because of how we, we didn't utilize power well so that's one good thing about solar system if you study the system and you know how to you know use your power you always have power and really have challenges with it so that's one thing we've had to learn uh for some time and be able to you know use power wisely so because we are on a limited power yes this power is limited uh, it's not an unlimited power so this is also um, a way to track the system using the app and then also be able to um, know how it's faring should i in case there's any challenge or something then you're able to do something about it so that wraps up today's video if you found this video helpful or have any questions about setting up a solar powered business you can let me know in the comment section you can always also reach out to me via whatsapp and i'm definitely going to be able to assist with that and of course if you want to you know have my services in terms of um, designing and installing a solar system you can always reach out and look at that now for all these entire systems that i've mentioned um I must say that they were supplied to us by Sansam Solar. So Sansam Solar is a place where you can get all your solar um, related uh, materials, being it's panels, inverter, charge controllers, um, batteries, breakers, um, cables, almost everything you can think about with regard to solar system, you can get them from Sansam. So you can contact them using their contact details on the screen as well as in the description. And of course, do want to mention my name. I'm sure probably you may be able to get some discount on your purchases. So that'll be just about it for today's video. In case you've not subscribed, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. Also try to hit on a like, click on the share, share with others. And um, um, don't forget to always come back for more great content. I'll see you in the next one.